YouTube, welcome back to my Liquid Chrome Nails channel. Today I'm doing a real-time reindeer nail art. So it's something simple that you can do on pretty well any length of nail or any shape. You can also do this quite quickly, especially the more you do it. So if this is something that you wanted to put on a set of five or six tips, and then you can have people pick their nail art from those tips. If that's the sort of thing you want to do, this could be something that you could really get down pat really, really quickly. The only parts that I've edited out are the curing. So this was basically like a five minute nail art minus the curing. And I think under pressure, you could probably do it quicker as well. And this is a really big tip. So probably smaller, you could do quicker. Now I am using the Mission Control paints. You could use any gel paint. Um, I paint a lot with my Ugly Duckling gel polishes. So anything that you know is going to paint well, you can use. I'm using my Ugly Duckling Detailer 2. Um, really uh, any nail art brush would work pretty well. Like you don't have to have a specific set of brushes to do a a picture like this. So I'm making my, my circle with white. I'm terrible at circles, so it's taken me a second. And in between everything I am curing, so even if I don't mention it, when you're doing nail art, if you feel like it should be cured, go ahead and cure that and you can work on the other hand or on nails on the other hand. In the meantime, you don't have to waste that time. But sometimes, depending on the temperature of your room and I mean so many things, um, you might want to cure. So I'm kind of putting his ears on and I'm just doing that slowly because I want to make sure they're even. And I am working pretty slow here too. For me, I'm working pretty slow. And I am working off a picture, but like I said, I feel if you had these in a tip situation where you had four or five or three or however many you want, then people could pick from those and then they can see them. Or even if you had a similar picture saved on your phone uh, that they could pick from, sometimes people really love that because they're not able to visualize it. So now I'm going in with his antlers and I'm making them pretty long here. It's kind of the focal point of the picture. So you're making kind of a wishbone sort of shape. And if they're not perfect, don't worry about that. They really don't need to be. Sometimes it adds character to the picture. And once you get his little antler horn things on here, I don't know what the right word is. Once you get them on there, um, it's not something that's going to be very, very obvious. So I'm literally just dragging my brush, almost like making a leaf. And just kind of randomly putting them side to side where I want them. I'm a fan of things being not totally symmetrical. So I don't always do things exactly the same on both sides. So one thing I didn't say is I have started with a matte finish. So if you're going to be doing anything like this, it doesn't matter if it's on black or on red or whatever it's on, make sure it's matte. It's gonna be so much easier for you to draw on. It doesn't have to stay matte. You can put a shine top coat on it later, um, which I don't do for this because I do prefer my art in matte, but also always draw on matte. It's just so much easier for you. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope you do so. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks so much for coming back. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, leave them down below and I will be certain to get back to you. I love chatting with you guys, so just leave everything down below. Thanks for watching and have a good Christmas season.